Today, we're diving into one of the hottest topics in backend development, Node.js against Java. Watch till the end and discover which is right for your next project. We are Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin by exploring the similarities and differences between Node.js and Java. Both are powerful tools used to build dynamic web applications and robust APIs, yet their core architectures set them apart. At Jelvix, we've seen that Node.js runs on a single-threaded, event-driven model. This makes it very lightweight and great at handling asynchronous tasks. In our experience, Node.js really shines in situations that demand real-time data and high concurrency, like live updates, interactive services, and microservices. Its non-blocking I.O. model keeps things running smoothly, even when there's a lot going on. Pretty cool, isn't it? On the other hand, Java is a multi-threaded, object-oriented language known for its rock-solid reliability. Thanks to its rich ecosystem of libraries and frameworks, Java has been a top pick for enterprise applications for years. Here at Jelvix, our experts appreciate Java's strong type system and mature tools that offer the reliability and scalability needed for large, complex systems. Java's track record for handling heavy, high-volume operations makes it a go-to for mission-critical projects. Now, in our experience, both Node.js and Java offer unique advantages. Whether you're after the speed and agility of Node.js or the robust enterprise-grade performance of Java, knowing the differences can really help you choose the right fit for your project. Are you there? Then it's time to hit that like button. Speaking of projects, there are many famous examples of companies using Node.js and Java to meet their unique needs. For example, companies like PayPal and LinkedIn have turned to Node.js to boost performance and handle high transaction volumes, all while enabling high concurrency with low latency. This is ideal for their mobile services and real-time updates. For instance, Uber relies on Node.js to provide rapid dispatch and real-time tracking capabilities for drivers and app users. Meanwhile, Medium leverages Node.js for its agile content delivery, ensuring that articles load quickly and scale efficiently as user demand grows. And our favorite use case of Node.js at Jelvix? Walmart's online platform, which, being powered by Node.js, processes millions of online shopping transactions daily with rapid response times often under a second. However, the Java use cases are equally impressive. Take Spotify, for example, which relies on Java to manage intensive data processing and streaming. It supports over 60 million active users and streams billions of tracks each month. Another example is eBay, which delivers robust scalability for millions of transactions thanks to Java's proven performance and reliability. Similarly, X handles massive concurrent requests with Java, and SAP benefits from its enterprise-grade reliability for complex business applications. Based on these cases, it's obvious Java remains the backbone for enterprise-level operations. But what are the other best cases of using these technologies? And how do you decide between Node.js and Java? No worries, our Jelvix experts have got you covered. When choosing between Node.js and Java, for Jelvix experts, it all comes down to project-specific needs. For example, if an application demands real-time features like live updates or interactive services, Node.js is the best choice. It's also ideal for lightweight microservices, since its asynchronous non-blocking architecture allows it to handle many simultaneous operations. Also, if it relies on lightweight microservices that benefit from an asynchronous non-blocking architecture and rapid development cycles, Node.js is our go-to choice. Node.js also enables rapid development cycles through a vast ecosystem of libraries and tools, which can be a great advantage if you need to build and iterate quickly. On top of that, its event-driven architecture allows it to handle web requests flexibly and efficiently, which is great in cases when smooth performance is required, even under heavy loads. In the meantime, Jelvix experts recommend choosing Java if you need an enterprise-level application that requires robust multi-threaded processing. Java's strong static typing ensures type safety, while its extensive libraries provide ready-made solutions for complex tasks. With proven performance under heavy loads, Java is trusted for applications that demand robustness and reliability. Additionally, Java is ideal for integrating with legacy systems to maintain compatibility within your existing infrastructure. Hold on, here's another secret Jelvix experts are excited to share. In reality, in many cases, the best solution is a hybrid approach. At Jelvix, we've seen that combining Node.js and Java can offer the perfect balance, leveraging the strengths of both technologies. 
Our experience shows that such a combination can optimize performance, improve scalability, and create more resilient systems. And there's proof of that among famous companies too. For example, Netflix is known for using Java to handle heavy-duty back-end processing, while employing Node.js for managing front-end interfaces and real-time functionalities. This blend allows them to enjoy the stability and scalability of Java alongside the agility and efficiency of Node.js. So which language would you prefer in your next project? Share with us in the comments. Also, you might be interested in our side-by-side Node.js and Golang comparison. There are a whole bunch of insights too.